30. The Emblic Mirabalan Miracle Then the yogi Uruvela Kasapa, with the passing of that night, approached the Gracious One, and after approaching he announced the time, saying, It is time, great ascetic, the meal is ready. You go ahead, Kasapa, I am coming. After sending away the yogi Uruvela Kasapa, Picking a fruit from an emblic Mirabalan tree not far from the rose apple tree after which the rose apple island is named, and arriving earlier, sat down in the sacrificial firehouse. The yogi Uruvela Kasapa saw the gracious one sitting in the sacrificial firehouse, and after seeing him, he said this to the gracious one By what path, great ascetic, did you come? I set out earlier than you, but you, arriving earlier, are already sitting down in the sacrificial firehouse. Here, Kasapa, after sending you away, picking a fruit from an emblic Mirabalan tree not far from the rose apple tree after which the rose apple island is named, and arriving earlier, I sat down in the sacrificial firehouse. This is the emblic Mirabalan fruit, Kasapa endowed with good colour, scent and taste. If you wish, you can eat it. Enough, great ascetic, you surely brought it. You should surely eat it. Then this occurred to the yogi Uruvela Kasapa. Powerful and majestic is this great ascetic, since after sending me away earlier, picking a fruit from an emblic Mirabalan tree not far from the rose apple tree after which the rose apple island is named, and arriving earlier, he can sit down in the sacrificial firehouse, but he is surely not a worthy one like I am. Then the gracious one, having eaten the yogi Uruvela Kasapa's food, dwelt on in that very jungle thicket.